Phenomena, eh, eh, waka waka, eh, eh, sami nami na jangle wa. This time for Afrique. Oh, sorry. Uh, just uh, remembering a bit of my memories from Africa. Nothing much. So, uh, hello everybody. My name is Abuna Isaac Bear with Mary Science Lab. Today we'll be looking at some constructions. It's boring. It's boring. I know. So. What are we going to do today? Well, first, we're going to be doing perpendicular to the line for a, for a point that's off the line. How do I even say it? Um, you'll see what it is eventually. So, how do we do this? Well, first, we make an arc. So, first of all, let's draw a line with point AB. And now, let's draw a random point anywhere between A and B above it. So, now, what we're going to do is make a large arc after you put your point uh, the point of your compass on that random point which we'll now call p because saying random point so many times going to get annoying and also i'm going to confuse it with the compass point. and you probably will too i'm going to change so now make so place your compass point on p and make an arc that intersects a line AB twice. So, over here, over here. Yeah, that looks about good. So now, we don't care about any of these points, except the two points where those, and where this, uh, how do I select it? Where this line was intersected. So, no. So we're going to name this one R. We're going to name this one S. And so now, what do we do finally? Well, finally, to make perpendicular to a line. Ah, oh, how do I say it again? It's like a tongue twister. Okay, so what you mean by that is essentially this. You just need to take this and another point and this and you have something that's perpendicular to the line that, that's off the line. Uh, you have, okay, how do I say this? You have a perpendicular line that goes through a point that is off another line. Okay, there. That's a better one. So now let's clear this all because we're now going to be doing the same thing but parallel instead of perpendicular. And it's a bit harder but still easy. That's not straight. Uh, is that straight? Tell me if that's straight in the comments below. So now we're going to. Uh, the regent will usually give you these straight lines all the time. So now we're going to select this, label it A, select it. <laughs> select this, label it B. Point P. Oh wait, I forgot. I also have to show you uh, when P is on the line, but that's essentially the same thing. So I'm gonna take this off. And oh, this, that was cloning it. Oh, well, don't mind me. I didn't know that. So let's call this P. Oh, P. And now, what do we do? Well, we're going to take a line, we're going to define one of the points is P, and another one of the points is somewhere here. Alright, so now we're going to call this new point R. That's a good name. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make an arc from P. So this arc will intersect line RP. And you'll see why we need in a second. So uh, we need to make a, put the compass point on P. So how would I illustrate this? No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, uh, this is, oh, I just realized that what I meant to be the middle was actually counted as the end. 
Now we're gonna mind out my friends. Let's do that again. So, uh, look like one of the microphones detached. So, and again, I'm hoping that this time I will be able to detect it better. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I made the same mistake. Sorry once again. All right. So now, what do we do actually? So, uh, let's try that one more time, reminding myself this time. And no, that's not equal distant. Uh, this is so hard to draw. The, uh, this arc is infuriating. It would, maybe that be it? I did it, I did it, I did it. All right, so now that's, no. This is going to be called you. Not you, you. Like the letter. Why does it say go? So, now, finally, we're going to put our point on you. I should probably make this longer, actually. Oh! Probably put the, uh, make this longer. So we're going to put our point on you and make a small arc that intersects this other arc. So, you over here. Uh, that's the middle and that's the end. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, uh. There. Now, uh, that's not exactly it. I, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Undo that once again. So what I meant to do was, this arc is meant to be like that. Sorry, because I don't have a compass. Yeah, that's better. That looks like an actual piece of a circle. And now we take P and the point where the two lines intersect, and boom. Now, since these arcs are not perfect at all, it's not perfectly, mm, it's not uh, perfectly perpen uh, parallel, but it's pretty close. As you can see, we have 69 and 66, only three degrees away. If you try this more precisely, like me, last attempt I did this, uh, I guess my fingers were more flexible. I got 89 and 90 last time, but maybe that's just me and my fingers. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.